this episode of the Trucker's Table may not be as pretty as a stretched out purple kid worm, but it's probably as long. So y'all get ready, hang around, and let's catch another episode of the Trucker's Table. Let's get this thing started. Robbie's got a gold watch. Don't seem like a whole lot. After 30 years of driving up and down the interstate. But Robbie's had a good life. And Robbie's got a good wife. Yes, that is a nasty windshield. It's nasty. Well, I slowed down trying to give that car time to come on, but it won't. I speed up, they speed up. <laughs> I ain't driving through that damn crater. Look at that crater. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, I'm going around. <laughs> Woo. Uh, yeah, we're going to get on over to the TA Express and uh, get us a little fuel and uh, damn more craters <laughs> oh wow this is a jacked up road man Woo, it's jacked up but yeah we're gonna get on back over there and get us some fuel Let's see if we can't get a butt on down to marshall texas pick up our load down there this afternoon start heading to daddy boy think of Iowa, we think of Iowa 80, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Davenport ain't nowhere near Iowa 80, I don't think. I think Davenport's just inside the Iowa line there. So we won't get by the Iowa 80. That's all right. We ain't going to be in no big rush anyway. So anyway, y'all go ahead enjoy a little bit of the footage on the way over to Marshall and we'll talk more with you when we get over there. All right.
Hey, but we're rolling out. <laughs> ah, it's a little tight getting back in and out back here. Yep, we're leaving Marshall, Texas with a new friend. Yeah, I made a new friend. Uh, crazy, 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 crazy story. He was stationed at Fort Stewart, Georgia. No big deal. A lot of people stationed at Fort Stewart, Georgia. No, no, no. He was stationed at the same time I was there. Okay, well, yeah, that's not too rare. You might find somebody that was stationed there at the same time you were. No, 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 no. There's more to the story. <laughs> he was also in the same daggum company, battalion, everything that I was in at the same time I was there. The only difference was we had different MOS. So he, uh, we didn't have the same MOS, but we, we were in the same daggum company. MOS is basically your job with the Army. Uh, I was uh, a cook, then went on to be a truck driver. Uh, he was mortar. And then he went from being a mortar to a medic. So, you know, we were in different circles as far as what we were doing there in the company. And uh, yeah, we were there at the same time, same company, everything, man. We were in Somalia together. We were both in Somalia at the same time. And uh, yeah, that is crazy. What are the chances that you're gonna meet up with somebody so daggum cool man we talked for about almost probably close to 30 minutes it seemed like uh but yeah great guy man mr james so now when i come back to marshall i got somebody to come over and hang out with <laughs> oh man how about that and it all started with them recognizing me from youtube and watch i guess watched me on youtube before and uh recognized the truck and uh, we got to talking about you know YouTube and stuff and uh, gave everybody some hats and t-shirts and stuff and uh, yeah it's a double yellow line buddy for a reason knucklehead so anyway <laughs> oh man that was so daggum cool uh, yeah I can't wait to tell my wife about that that's for me that's a big deal because I love the army and me and him both agree, you know, the army now is not the army that me and him went through, you know. Uh, just everything has turned towards making our army soft, you know. They're not made, the men aren't made the same as they were when me and him went through basic and AIT and were served in the army. When we went through the army, they get up in your face and yell at you, cuss at you call you all kind of names, you know, they tore you down, man, but then they built you back up, you know. Now now you go in, they don't tear you down. So how can you, you're basically putting lipstick on a pig, more or less, you know, you're, when you go in and remodel a house, you can't remodel it until you strip it and then build it back with the foundation that's there. You can't, you know, just put, boards over rotten boards you know you gotta rip out the rotten stuff and put in the good stuff and they just they don't they don't do that no more you know anyway not to get off on about that but anyway it was just so daggum cool man to uh to meet up with somebody like that that i actually served in the army with at the same time we were in the same unit same you know company all that kind of stuff uh we remember a lot of the uh people like our first sergeant some of the other people that were there. Man, that was just, that was super, that was so cool. That made my day right there, man. So I'm glad now I got to do this load. I wouldn't have got a chance to meet Mr. James there. So that, that was, that was that gun cool, man. Uh, I put a picture in here of me and him. Uh, they took a picture, uh, one of the guys he works with took a picture of us in there. So uh, yeah, that's pretty dang gun cool. But, uh, yeah, so anyway, we're on a 
way up to uh, Davenport, Iowa, and uh, we deliver up there Monday morning. And uh, I haven't even looked to see what the weight is on this load. Uh, let's see what we got for weight. Oh, okay, 25,000 pounds. That's not too bad. So we don't have to worry about wasting $13, $14 on a scale ticket. And uh, basically we're going to go back the way we came. Back up to, <laughs> back up to I-30. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. We're going to head on up that way. And uh, see if we can get on up there. Yeah, here's where we're making our turn. Uh. All right, here we go. We're headed to Davenport. Uh, we've already got a series of loads booked. That's going to carry us all the way through for seven days, man. That's right. Today is Friday, and we are booked up through next Friday. Yeah! All right! And our, uh, our, a little bit of a spoiler alert. <laughs> uh, the load that we're supposed to deliver next Friday is uh, delivering in Fayetteville, North Carolina. So any of you folks that uh, know about Fayetteville, North Carolina, you know that's where the Goodyear plant is. So we may end up doing a drop and hook, drop a loaded, pick up another loaded. I don't know yet. I'm going to keep an eye out uh, for any good loads that might be coming out of there. But we're only 50 miles away from Dillon, South Carolina, man. Yeah, where uh, FLS Agency has their Harbor Freight loads that are really good paying loads. I just saw one going to New York that was paying over $5 a mile. <coughs> pick it up on Friday, deliver on Monday. And I want to say it was paying almost four grand, something like that. So, yeah. But not going to New York. <laughs> but I keep my load alert set up so if they post anything, I'll snag it up. So, anyway, we're going to get on, hit it on back up towards Texarkana. Yeah. We get up there to Texarkana, we jump on I 30, run that over to Little Rock. I slip off the
right now we're on 440. <laughs> oh man, I tell you, I wouldn't know where my head was if it wasn't attached. <laughs> uh, yeah, we uh we're gonna try to get on over here and get parked. Well we're gonna we're gonna get I tell you what, I I this truck has more love bugs on it than you can shake a stick at, man. I mean they is some love bugs on this truck. Ooh, look all up around here. The bumper, the bumper looks black, man. It's supposed to be a chrome bumper, but it looks black. There's so many daggum love bugs on it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're gonna get her washed up, get some rain X put on her. I wish we could get some slippery slip stuff put on so the love bugs when they hit, they just slide right on off. There you go, there you go. Invent that. <laughs> um, I see some ripples out there in the water. There goes a big old tugboat going down the old river there. Wonder what that is, I huh, Chuck? Oh, that's the dredge boat. Yeah, okay, okay, I see now. Yeah, there's a dredge boat out there. They took me, I should know, I should recognize one as soon as I see it. But they had some stuff around the outside of it, so I didn't recognize it off the map. I used to work on an old dredge boat. Yeah, back in the day, after I got out of the arm. I wasn't in no big hurry to get across. 
you know, I'm not up for no daggum tickets, that's for sure. And, uh, oh, what's stopping? <laughs> Are you stopping, Mr. Infinity Man? What the hell? Uh, but anyway, yeah, we wasn't in that big of a hurry that we had to, you know, zoom across there. But yeah, we, uh, we got across there and everything, and, uh, we didn't, we didn't even have a, that load booked that was going to Greenville. We didn't book that load, man, until we were almost a lot. We were almost in Lafayette by the time we got that load booked. Um, because I, I, I had planned on just deadheading the Marshall, but it worked out where we were able to get that load. Uh, made uh, about 700, a little over $700, I think it was, all together on that load. Not a lot of money, but it more than covers all the fuel costs to get up there. And, uh, so I didn't have to deadhead. But if I deadheaded up there, it would have cost me almost $200 in fuel. Uh, but by getting that load, I didn't, it didn't cost me anything. And I might have even made a couple of hundred bucks. Who knows? <laughs> but uh, there's the sign right there. Petro, the Iron Ski Lake. Oh, look at them. Toting them max, boy. Max and ball boat. Selling like hotcakes. There we go. They got an Iowa 80 uh, truck wash. I thought about going over there to the Iowa 80 truck wash. I don't know. If I do, I'll have to drop the trailer. I might do that. It depends. If there's a super long line at the Blue Beacon, I'll probably do that. But if there's not a long line at the Blue Beacon, then we'll probably just go ahead and jump in there. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, we went ahead and reserved us a spot. I think we did that this morning, if I remember correctly, because I figured I was just going to hang out up here instead of... Uh, Cause I, I got enough hours, I could make it over. Probably, I could probably make it to Matthews, Missouri, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna stay here, and then tomorrow we are gonna go. Um, we're gonna we're gonna take a shortcut through the backwoods over in Arkansas, and uh, cut up the I-55. I'm very close to Matthews. Not Matthew, no mad trucker, but Matthew, Te uh, Missouri. I almost said Matthew, Texas, didn't I? <laughs> oh, dang, gummit. There goes another one jumping in line over there. Like the Blue Heacon Beacon. Shrink and bacon. Shrink and bacon, bacon. Yeah, I only see one or two trucks in line, so we're going to go ahead and jump in over here and get us a bath. We're going to give the classic a bath. Woo, woo. Come on, girl, get on up in here. You know you need a bath. Somebody threw an airbag out. What the heck, man? Why you throw them airbags out? Throw them things in the diagram trash can. Uh, all right, I guess we'll get behind this old flatbed over here. All right, here we are. <laughs> all right we'll check back in with y'all a little while Ooh, woo. man i picked a bad time to leave man i should have left over two hours ago it is 10 o'clock in little rock <laughs> And uh, we're getting ready to roll out. And got us a really good night's sleep. Uh, took a shower, shave, all that good stuff. I was very 
tempted to go inside and uh, sit down and eat breakfast, but now nah, I was like, nah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I got good breakfast out here in the truck. Some good old Konica sausages from Konica, Alabama. So, uh, yeah, we're good. Yeah, I was talking to the fellers last night. By on the Pell Riders live feed. Uh, about which way to go to get up there to where we're going. And it's about almost 50 miles difference to go over to uh, Memphis. versus cutting through the backwoods and uh, we're not in a super big hurry so if we take it easy we get decent fuel mileage you know avoid all that stopping and going at the red lights and speed zones and two lane roads and up and down and curves and all that stuff Getting them a ticket this morning. Uh, see that little spot right over there? Right there. <laughs> they, uh, people park over there, and I don't, I don't understand how or why, because it's kind of, it's, it's a pretty good uh, slope. I'd be afraid to park on a slope like that because. Uh, I'd be worried about my daggum fuel draining over to one side and then I go to crank and it's not crank. <laughs> I've had that happen before, man. Back in the day, back in the day, when I had an old uh, W9 studio, back in the day when I was with old Mr. Charles Patterson. Check out this little bitty camper. Look at it, it's so tiny. <laughs>
apologize about the APU noise, but it's a little warm today, so we got the AC rolling. We are in Troy, Illinois, and we've been doing so much gum recording. <laughs> I was like, man, I got to break this in half, do a, do a two-part video. Uh, so we made it from Marshall to, uh, to Little Rock. We left Little Rock, and now we're here in Troy, Illinois. Uh, we'll get up and we only got about I think maybe 250 miles to go and uh, we'll drive that tomorrow Sunday and get up there to the receiver and park up there and uh, So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and end the video here because we've been rambling on and on and on talking dead and dead and doing all this other stuff <laughs> But uh, yeah, we got here to Troy to get parked and uh, went and reserved a spot back then and you're sitting there in the parking lot, man. There's Duncan over here and the TA and everything's over here. And uh, I'm outside, uh, you know, checking the truck, checking the APU, making sure everything's good before I bed down for the night. The guy walks up, he goes, uh, is that your truck? I go, yeah. He goes, uh, would you mind pulling up about 15 feet or so? Uh, we had an oil spill or something and we're trying to clean it up because the way the parking lot slopes down. He said, we're about there trying to clean it up now. And and, and the dude on the, on the other side of me over here, I think it was a creek driver, he was asleep, man. He had been asleep for a while. And the dude went over and banged on his door, woke him up, told him to pull his truck forward. I was like, ah, oh, I've been hollering and cussing. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, so we spent the night there and everything. And uh, whew, left out and headed on up here. Uh, well, we're going to spend a night there <laughs> in Troy, and uh, then we'll leave there and head on up to uh, to Davenport. So, anyway, we'll go ahead and end the video here. But thank you guys so much for coming along on the journey. It has been a crazy, crazy video, man. I hope you watched it all. I hope you enjoyed it. Meeting someone that you were actually probably saw and just don't remember him, you know, he probably came through the chow line. And, uh, you know, when we was in Somalia, I'm pretty sure he came through the chow line over there. We were both stationed at Victory Base over there in Somalia. That was pretty daggum cool. We both went to the same tent to use the phone because they had a little tent set up with phones so you could call back home and uh, stuff like that. So we, we were right there at the same place at the same time, man. And um, so I'm sure we probably saw each other and just don't remember it because I look completely different back then than what I look now. <laughs> I didn't, uh, I didn't see any pictures of him uh, from what he looked like back in the day, but uh, yeah, I'm sure we both look completely different now than we did back then. But uh, that was that that was just so cool, man. That that was super duper awesome, cool, and uh, yeah, it happens sometimes like that. You meet people you wouldn't expect to be meeting. So anyway, thank you guys so much for coming along with us. I hope you guys are having a great week. Ooh. We'll be here in fall before you know it, man. Football season's already started. People are talking about that. The weather's getting cooler, I can tell. And uh, we got some good stuff to talk about in the next few videos. Uh, some loads that we're booking and everything. Some places we're going to be going to. And uh, so we'll be talking about those in the next uh, couple videos. But uh, anyway, thank you guys so much. If you haven't already done it jump down hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed and uh click the uh the like button if you feel like it don't, don't mind doing it <laughs> if you want to leave us a comment we'd love to hear what you got to say Ooh. but in the meantime keep reaching for those dreams keep striving to get there you can do it you can make it happen you just have to keep keep working at it my dream is to get a new motor put in this truck uh before the end of the year that's my dream and i'm working towards it and we'll be talking more about it what we're going to get doing but that's my dream right now oh i want to make it happen i want to get a new motor in here so i feel better about the truck and uh once we get that new motor we definitely gonna be stretching our legs walking out a little bit further west maybe and uh stuff like that so we'll see but anyway thank you guys so much don't give up on your dreams and your hopes and your prayers and all that good stuff you can make it happen just keep moving forward and always keep punching. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.